that Negro with that Creole make a Texas Bama. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we will we will be working with the wig today. And this is our Brazilian model wave from Cal and Kai and Co. I'll be showing you guys how to take it from its natural state, which I made this wig last night. So this is the hair in its natural state. We see the curls are tight and haven't been pulled out or defined. And this hair is actually really, really soft. And these curls, you can like run your hands through it with no problem. But the whole point of the video is, for one, I don't like to keep none of my hair in the natural state unless it's our Peruvian Kylie wavy, and that's because of the wave pattern. But for this here Brazilian model wave, we are going to define these here curls. So, you know, you're going to see how it looks like this for now. And trust me, it's going to look way better than this. And what you're going to need is just some water, which I like to keep in my spray bottle, and also a big tooth comb. And if you do want to part your part for your closure, then you would like to use this here rat tail comb. And I like to use the one that has the metal tip on it because I feel like it gives you a straighter line and it makes the whole parting process easy. So what you're going to do is just get your spray bottle. And you're going to just spray it all over the hair. Just get the hair wet. You know, it is curly hair. So, you know, just get the hair wet. Spray all the hair. And make sure you get it really, really wet. So that you can be able to comb it out with no problem. And see that bounce in the curls. you guys this hair has like some really healthy ends like no split ends no shedding so far with this hair and it's really really soft and this is 18 20 and 22 by the way with a 14 inch closure and I did do a video on me bleaching the knots on this closure which you guys can check that out. So I'm not going to drench the hair in it. I'm not going to drench the hair with the water. But what I'm going to do now is now that I have it wet enough, I'm going to just take my comb and just comb through the hair. If you do feel like you need to add more water, I mean, but it is your preference on how much water you want to add onto this hair. Because I didn't put like too, too much, but I just wanted to get it wet enough so that I can loosen up these curls on this hair. Okay. And it is summertime, so I'm really a fan of long hair, but because it's really, really hot outside, especially being down south in Florida, you know, nobody do not have time to be sitting here wearing this long hair, especially with it being a wig and you be all hot and stuff up under that wig cap. So I'm just going to be rocking my short hair for a while until, you know, this heat changes. So... And make sure you guys be able to touch and reach, you know, the bundles that are way in the back. And also make sure you get that closure. So what I'm going to do is spray more water in it. The closure, you know, did dry up because, like I said, I did bleach it yesterday. So that's why... It looks a little bit different from the bundles because it already had went through this whole, you know, being washed process and everything. The bundles were just in its natural state, which this is my first time attempting to do anything with them since I did make the wig last night. So, just going to turn it.
Now, you do know that, you know, for your closure, you always have to put some kind of product on it to get it to lay down. Most people like to apply heat to it, but, um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to see if I can put some kind of holding spray or gel on it and then wrap it. So that is the bag. And now you guys see how easy it is to comb through this hair. Like look, so easy. All right, so now I'm going to part the closure. And I will be doing a video on the closure to show you guys, you know, how I do my part. And I will be cutting the lace on it and also cutting up under um, the cap. So. Alright guys, so we are done with this. This is just like me showing you guys a brief video on... You know, defining these curls, you don't need no products, just water and a big two comb, and there you go. And again, this is our Brazilian model wave from my hair company, Cal and Kai and Co. And we do offer a 10% discount for college students. All you have to do is just email us. Um, basically, a current picture of your student ID so that we'll know you're legit in college and you're a college student. And we'll be able to give you that discount for your order. And all of our hair is guaranteed top quality, worth every penny. I will not sell anybody any hair that I wouldn't wear myself. Because for one, money is not to be played with. And also, I've had bad experiences with AliExpress. But with me combing this hair, this is all the shedding I've got. Like, that's literally nothing. Probably like 10 strands or less. Like, look how thin that is. So, yeah. Even though this is curly hair, most people curly hair sheds a lot. But as you can see, like, that was really, really barely any kind of shedding at all on this hair. And this hair moves with no problem. Um, I am going to let this air dry. And... Thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. And stay tuned for the next videos. Um, I will be making sure I post a lot of videos on our different hair textures. And also me making wigs. And any kind of concerns that you guys have with our hair company. I'll be sure to address anything that you guys would like to know. Thank you. Bye.